Hey guys, and welcome to today's video where I'll be showing you how to use a VPN. Uh, this is something I know a lot of you have been asking about, and so I wanted to do it from the perspective of if you really don't know much or anything about VPNs. So this will be a very basic uh, guide or tutorial how to use a VPN, and I'll be using uh, one of my favorites here, ExpressVPN. Of course, I'll put links down in the description as usual, and uh, any of the best discounts or deals I can get for you guys, again, I'll put all that down below. So um, let's see. What I did is I went ahead and opened up ExpressVPN, and as you can see, it's uh, not connected yet. Now to connect it, it's just as easy as pushing this button, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, what Express does is it will connect to what's called a smart location. It's the location that it believes will be the best uh, server, best location for me to connect to. So it'll give me the best performance, the best speeds, and so forth. So now what we can do is we can just to do a little test here. We'll say, where am I located? And we can see that Google now believes I'm in Seattle. So just to prove the point, let's go ahead and find another location. Uh, we'll stay with the United States for now, and let's go ahead and switch over to New York. So as you can see, all I needed to do was click on it. So that's one of the um, ways certainly to use a, a VPN is it you're geospoofing or you're uh, changing where it, your, your address appears to be uh, from. All right, so now... Let's do, let's open up a new incognito window and let's go, where am I located? Ah, uh, now it believes I'm in New York. Now, the other thing I want to do is just go through a few things here uh, as far as some of the preferences. So, one of the things you can do with Express is uh, in, in the uh, general area here, is you can use what's called a kill switch. And so kill switch is important to have checked. So uh, whatever VPN you're using, I would check to see if it has something like this. Uh, what this does is it stops, stops all internet traffic if the VPN were to disconnect unexpectedly. So let's say you're using a torrent and you're downloading something and you want to uh, make sure no one sees what you're downloading. You don't want your internet service provider to see. You don't want your government to see whatever you're downloading. So if you're, uh, you're using the torrent and let's say all of a sudden your VPN were to suddenly disconnect, well, you're still, you're still downloading. And so that information, whatever it is you're downloading, will be seen by your internet provider, by the government, by whoever might be looking. And even if it's just for a few seconds and you wanna make sure that that's not seen by anyone, that's where something like a kill switch or Express calls it a network lock that will stop all internet traffic if your VPN disconnects. So if that were to happen, your VPN would then shut off all internet activity so you don't have to worry about any information going over the internet without you knowing about it that you didn't want to be seen. And that's again a great feature. Um, quite a few VPNs have them. Uh, it's one of those things you hope, hopefully you don't need to use. And again, that's why I like Express because I can't remember the last time it disconnected unexpectedly, but if it ever did, you have you know, a fail-safe here. So again, that's just how easy it is to go ahead and use a VPN. It's as simple as opening it up, connecting, uh, finding a good location. And really, it doesn't matter, uh, just to clarify here, it doesn't really matter which location you choose. It's not like some locations are more effective or more secure. But what that can uh, affect is your performance. So generally, the servers that are closest to you are the ones that will give you better speed, better performance. That's really um, the only difference with these. Also, if you're doing something like watching Netflix and you're using a VPN, sometimes for whatever reason, a certain server may be problematic and that's why you might need to choose a different server in a different location. Again, that's why I like Express because I really don't run into those kind of problems. But if you're using another VPN, um, sometimes that can be an issue if it can even unblock Netflix. A lot of them can't even unblock Netflix uh, as an example. So anyway, that's it, guys. Um, again, if you're interested in Express or more information, I'll, I'll put that in the description uh, to make sure you can get the best deals or discounts possible that you don't get uh, maybe just going to their 
uh, to their website. Again, I'll put all that down below in the description. And if there's any other questions you guys have, uh, don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below. I always love getting the answer as many as I can. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.